Good morning. Today we're going to tackle a problem dealing with air resistance. <clears throat> I'm Gabriel Mel, and this is Physics with the Experts. Here's our problem. Cletus is driving his 1,000 kilogram car down a highway at a velocity of 30 meters per second when all of a sudden his friend cuts the brakes again. If there is no friction between the road and the car's wheels, and he can only pull the emergency brake at 2 meters per second or lower, then Cletus can only rely on air resistance to slow his car down. If this force is equal to negative kV, where V is the car's velocity through the air, and K is equal to 2.0, how long will it be before Cletus can pull the brake? Interesting. Okay. So, <clears throat> as with any problem in physics, our first step is draw a sketch. This time, let's draw a force diagram because we're concerned with the changes in velocity. So here, let's imagine this is our car, and this is the positive x direction. The only force acting on the car is not the force of the brakes, his brakes have been cut, but the backwards force of air resistance equal to kV. Using this force diagram, we can now write Newton's second law. The sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. The only force acting backwards because of the coordinate system imposed is negative kV. The mass, as the problem stated, is 1000 and we'll leave the acceleration A for now. Now that we have Newton's second law written and we want to look at how things change over time, we convert to a differential equation. Negative kV as above equals 1000. Now A will be replaced with dV dt, the time derivative of velocity which we know acceleration to be. <clears throat> now we have a differential equation relating velocity with its time derivative and we can solve for the time dependence of V. So step 4 will substitute what we know to be K into the equation and separate our variables because this is a separable differential equation. So first we'll substitute a 2 in for k, as the problem stated, equal to 1000 dv dt. Then we'll multiply the dt differential over to this side. We'll divide the v to this side so that it's now below the dv. And we'll divide the 1000 so that we have negative 2 over 1000 giving us negative 500. <clears throat> now that we've separated our variables, the next step in, a, in solving a separable differential equation is to integrate. Integrating the left side, negative t, dt over 500, gives us negative t over 500 plus a constant because it's an indefinite integration. Integrating the right side, dv over v, gives us the antiderivative of 1 over v, natural log of v. Now that we've integrated, <clears throat> we now have v and t in an equation that relate their values. Let's solve for v. First we'll exponentiate both sides. Exponentiating the natural log of v gives us just v. And exponentiating this, we'll just put it in an exponential. <clears throat> we'll move the constant, this additive constant, in an exponent, as you know, becomes a multiplicative constant on the outside v equals c1 times e to the negative t over 500. Then, we're left with this unknown multiplicative constant. We'll use our initial conditions to find c1. We know that v of 0, plugging in t equals 0, is equal to c1 times e to the 0, which is just 1, so we get v of 0 equals c1. But we also know from the problem that the initial velocity v of 0 is equal to 30. So we can equate these two underlined expressions, which are both expressions for the initial velocity. <clears throat> We've now found the value of c1. And we have v equals what we know to be c1, which is 30, e to the negative t over 500. We now know the time dependence of the velocity. <clears throat> and finally, we'll use the vt relationship that we found to solve for the desired t. What we want to know is, what is the t when the velocity is 2? Because when the velocity is 2, Cletus can then pull the emergency brake. So, in our relationship that we found, v of t equals 30, e to the negative t over 500, we can substitute in 2 for v. 
And then we now have the stopping time. Solving for TS here will give us the time when the velocity is 2, essentially the time at which you can pull the emergency brake. So now we need to solve for TS. So we'll divide. Moving the 30 over gives us 1 15th e to the negative TS over 500. Take logs. The log of the left side just gives us natural log of 1 over 15. And this will get rid of the exponential, giving us negative TS over 500. And then multiply the negative 500 over, giving us T sub S equals negative 500 natural log of 1 15th. Or, <clears throat> if you'd like to simplify that further, 500 natural log of 15, because the negative sign can be moved up into an exponent and then take the reciprocal of the inside of the natural log. That's a property of logs. <clears throat> Either answer will, answer will work. So <clears throat> what we've just found, TS, is the time when the velocity has decreased all the way to 2 meters per second and Cletus can stop the bulldozer. Thank you for watching.